does this upstart think he is? I'm the biggest and the best. No, you say? I is Gasco Magarup Thracker. I is the prophet of the wag. Talk fears me, and Mark trembles in awe at my roar. You ain't gonna see another sunrise, you weedy git. I'm gonna crop you good. You and what army? This one. Wah! Wah! Well, I got one too. Wah! In case you haven't guessed it yet, we have a real goth off. Orcs versus orcs. Gazgul Thraka versus Gazgul Thraka. Young Warboss versus seasoned Bosnog. Who will take the fungus crown and be the next prophet of the war? This is 40k in 40 minutes. Orc off! JT McDowell here, welcoming you to this episode of an apparent attempt to confuse the heck out of me and give me a stroke as James Jones faces off against James Jones in a battle of orcs versus orcs? I swear, Nick did this to me on purpose. How dare this upstart war boss come and try to take my wa! Both players have brought Gazgul Magruk Thraka in a battle wagon as well as Makari to lead their respective wogs, but that's where the similarities end. James, Mr. Initiative Jones has brought a backup war boss, two squads of Beast Naga boys, as well as some good old regular boys. Burna boys, Mega Knobs, two squads of tank busters, a knob on a smasher squig, as well as some squig hog boys and a splash of war bikers, with three trucks to haul it all. Those Mega Knob truck boys can be a real surprise. James the Younger will need to be wary of them, as James, Mr. Initiative can really bring pressure from a lot of angles and use them as a nasty surprise. And a crump this weedy get right. My name is James Jones. I'm here fighting James Jones. James Jones the Younger has added a beast boss on Squigasaur to his Gazoo Wagon Makari Triumvirate, as well as a big boy squad and two squads of Gretchen for backup. A second battle wagon to hold that big boy squad, a kill rig, and a DACA jet bring some serious firepower. He's also got a mech and a pain boy. That's going to provide some defense. He's got a massive squad of Def Copters and a big squad of Storm Boys that he'll most likely start in reserve, and they will be absolutely key to his potential victory. So the Storm Boys mean nothing to me. They suck, they die to a breeze, meh, whatever. I'm really worried about Gasco as well, because I know that it's going to be a fight of whoever can deal wounds first. And so if I can't get up there in turn one or something, then he, he might come out on top on me. Today's match is a Tempest of War, and we're playing a Spearhead Assault deployment. Primary mission is Claim the Battlefield. In this mission, players score 5 points in the 2nd, 3rd, and 4th battle round for satisfying each of the following conditions. They control one or more objectives, control two or more, and additionally, they can perform the Claim Objective action. Score two victory points for each one that they've claimed. Gasco in the battle wagon is going to run up there and wreck face. So he's deployed his battle wagon with gas in it. And my immediate knee-jerk reaction is to drop mine directly across from him. But I've got to be smarter and cagier than that. I've got to see where this kill rig goes down first because that's his psychic influence on the table and his way to put mortal wounds on gas early. I need to stay away from the mortal wounds from that kill rig. The def cop does as well. I'm, I'm really hoping they can come in and Crump some, crump some stuff, crump some of his backline units. Those def coptas are gonna be a problem. Not only are they gonna come in with two D3 rockets each, but they also are super punchy in close combat. So I gotta be careful. They can put down a lot of attacks and they're coming probably on turn two and he'll most likely be on the wall by then. Something definitely to be aware of. So the, the kill rig is just this giant hulking battle wagon with uh, a psychic power attached, two psychic powers attached to it. James the Younger has Gaza, the Mech, and Makari all in his battle wagon. 19 boys in another battle wagon, 
Storm Boys in reserve, and Death Coptas also in reserve. Mr. Initiative James Jones has put Gaza and Makari in a wagon, the Tank Busters into a truck, Meganob Truck Boys into another truck, and the Burner Boys and Tank Busters in yet another truck. I want to wah turn one. And the only way that happens is if he goes first and he has to like move forward at me and charge at me. I deploy and build my list now so I don't have to go first. Yeah. So I'm okay with it either way. I feel like at this point you don't want to go first because you might not make that charge and then I can just guarantee the charge. 100%. I got five, you got a four. Yeah. Thank Gork and Mork. I absolutely did not want to go first. Lately I haven't been able to roll well uh, to see who goes first. So I've had to shift my playstyle to more planning to go second. This episode is brought to you by the folks at Audible. In addition to having nearly the complete collection of Black Library audiobooks, Audible has thousands of other titles, including Audible Originals and podcasts. Many of us here at Play On find listening to audiobooks while we paint terrain in miniatures to be a great way to catch up on Warhammer lore. Or, before you binge watch the Rings of Power series on Prime, check out other Lord of the Rings content on Audible. New members can try Audible free for 30 days. Visit audible.com slash L-O-T-R or text L-O-T-R to 500-500. Audible has provided us a free 30-day trial where you get full access to thousands of audiobooks, original entertainment, and podcasts. To start your free trial, visit audible.com slash L-O-T-R or text L-O-T-R to 500-500. Dive into some Lord of the Rings like me or whatever tickles your fancy. Audible definitely has what you're looking for. Once again, visit audible.com slash L-O-T-R or text L-O-T-R to 500-500 to start your free trial today. James the Younger draws his secondaries. He's pulled secure No Man's Land. He needs to hold two objectives in No Man's Land, deploy teleport homers, he needs to perform an action in James, Mr. Initiative Jones's zone and extend battle lines. He needs to hold his own objective and one more in No Man's Land. Are you ready to rumble? James the Younger's first movement phase, forward onto the foe. He's got a lot in reserve, so he can definitely afford to be aggressive here. Failed charges are a bad thing though, so not getting Gaz out this first turn could be potentially bad. The Gretchen are claiming the objective in James's own, and the one just outside his own, that should net him four points in his next command phase. My movement phase, my psychic phase is... Smite from the truck into the kill rig does three mortal wounds. Blighten Jaws does another mortal wound, down to six wounds remaining on that truck. The war tower turns into assault D3. I'm shooting at the truck. Everything into the truck? Yeah. How many shots? Whoop. Got it. D6 damage. Five. Okay. How many? Down to one. One! And then the deck jets yep. into those these tanker boys right these there. Jets on fives. Okay. Waha! Deck jet unloads into the beast tanker boys, killing seven. Nineteen pistols into that one truck. Five. Two, four. Three. Four. Hey, good job, works. The special ammunition. It does it explode? Does it explode? It, it does. explodes. One CP. <laughs> Mister Initiative is using the orc stratagem Kareen for one command point to take him down to one remaining moving that truck forward before blowing it up. So very orky. It's fun to use a stratagem I don't get to use all the time. D3 mortal wounds to your beast boss. Ow! Two. Two. And then to the battle wagon. Three. So the battle wagon is down to 13. Two five ups yep. because I have feel no pain. Yep. Takes one. Takes one. It goes down to eight. And then my guys inside. Oh gosh, I do not want to steal your dice. I rolled zero ones. When I jumped the Mega Knobs out, I may not have placed them in the best spot. I gave that Beast Boss a little too easy of a charge, and I was a little bit concerned about what he might do to them. I think it's time for everybody's favorite, the charge phase. Every Orc's favorite phase. Every the Orc's phase. favorite phase, yeah. So I'm going to charge the Beast Boss and Spoilers Whore mm -hmm. into Mega, Mega Knobs. Yep, bring it on. I'm in. I'm gonna nice. chomp you down real good. Love it. I'm doing Gaz's battle wagon. Into other Gaz. It's going to ramming speed. Yeah, ramming speed, so 3 yes. dice. 3d6. That is 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, I'm in. Wonderful. Mm. Oh, I'm speaking model. Okay. So on a 2, two up. Plus, yep. D3 mortal wounds. Nice. D3, D3. mortal wounds. For one. 1. It's down to 15. Down to 15. first. Yep. Going to the mega knobs. Yep. Takes two. two. So that's one uh, dead knob, I think. Hey, that was not the best. Now the battle wagon. On twos. 
goes down to uh, 11. So these guys pile in. I'm, I'm actually like really concerned right now. Okay. I think your list is better than mine, so I'm like, uh. I don't, I don't believe that. Okay. Uh, yes, I got move on. I made two and okay, so I take two. He's okay, he's got six left. Yep. That is, that's I that, that I and think. And then I fight you. Yes. Deuces. Deuces. Three. Ah! I blame the cool car. Oh, I take eight. Yep. Halfway. You know what? Your 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 battle wagon is clearly made of the superior material. <laughs> Those are cool wheels. Is that the end of the round? I think so. I owe you some uh, some uh, leadership. Right here. You, right there. They uh, need a one. So need a one. There it is. Dude, that beast boss is a problem. And a turn one for James Jones the Younger. He has 10 secondary points. Secure No Man's Land for five and extend battle lines for five. He's discarded teleport homers and is out of command points. We have a score of 10 to nothing. He has me pushed back into a small triangle of board space with not a lot of places to push out. James, Mr. Initiative Jones has pulled no retreat, no surrender, so he can't leave an objective he currently holds. Secure no man's land, same as James Jones called last time, and deploy teleport homers. Sounds really familiar. So it's my turn one now, and we're gonna rock the wah, and we are just gonna get in everywhere we can and pound as much face as we possibly can. You know what, let's just kick this party off, right? With yeah. a big, fat, juicy wah! Oh, come on, you can do better than that. That that wall was a little iffy. I was expecting a lot more. I'm gonna teach this whippersnapper some respect. Uh, can you? Yeah. Okay, let's hear it. One wall at a time, people. So these guys just are gonna move up to the objective. Okay. Unfortunately, my beast snagger boys cannot leave right now. Ha -ha. They They're leave. just gonna sit here. They're gonna park here for a round. These guys are just going to advance, so they, they flat rate an extra six. Yeah. So at the end of my movement phase now, these beast snagger boys on this objective are doing the claim, and, it's the and the knowledge. regular boys over here. No, the re oh, the regular boys are in there Those too. Yeah, cool. Claiming. Okay, shooting phase. Shooty, shooty. Okay. So I'm going to start here. They are going to fire their rockets. Yep, into him. Five D3. <laughs> just one. Gimme. No. Three flat damage. Zach just down to nine. Quick hogs. Beast Naga boys shooting at it as well. Strip off a couple more wounds. Okay. Cool. So I'm down to seven. Let's do these guys now. Okay. Okay, so they will shoot their rockets into the rig. Ruh-roh, ruh Please. And James the Younger still makes three. Takes six wounds though, but oh my goodness, that was huge. I shoot you with the uh, spring four pistols. So two wounds. One. Take one. Gazgull is gonna shoot into those uh, Gretchen. So I lose six, five left. Shooting phase done. Let's do some charges. Uh, all right, so I will charge with Gaz into this battle wagon. Luckiest kid. Charge the war boss into your war boss on right. the Squigasaur. Yep. It's five, he makes uh, it. Okay. Oof. Beast Snagga boys are gonna make a uh, charge at that uh, wagon. So well, here we go, that. Yeah, I think you're in actually. I'm gonna charge the uh, kill rig with my bikers. I'm gonna overwatch onto there, and it's just assault one because I didn't manifest this turn. I'm doing the auto hit first. Okay. Fail. Oh. Wound. Ooh. Maybe lava. D6, four shots. Nice. Yep. One. Bop. Oh. So you win. I got a five. That was rough. I shouldn't have saved that. Disappointing. I made all the ones that I needed. In fact, I made all of them. So Goodbye. this guy's gonna pile in three. Yeah, I mean, they, they, they can all fight anyway. Yeah. Bikes take the kill rig down to seven wounds left. And then yep. I'd like to consolidate yeah, yeah. those guys. Rough. Okay, wonderful. Beast snagger boys. Going in rough. They're going in. No rough. lube rough. needed. I still have nine more attacks with just okay. those guys. 
7. Beast Naga boys, walk good into the yellow battle wagon, leave it on one wound. But it's still alive, so that's a, that's a good thing. This round, I'm super excited to put that kill a claw and just lop that uh, beast boss's head right off. War boss into the beast boss and four sixes. Those are extra hits for goths. Beast boys goes down to the wound. Gaza goes into the other Gaza's wagon and it explodes. The gas. One mortal, six up feeling the pain. Can I roll that? You can't. Damn it. Takes one mortal wound. Mr. Initiative's gas takes a mortal and Makari does too. Don't roll three ones. And he rolls a one. Good thing that James Jones the Younger had that mech stayed in that last movement phase so he can just kill it and not worry about losing Gaz or Makari. The mech died, which that's what I planned for. It's the cheapest ablative wound cushion in the game. That's why he's in there. Killrig fights back. Boy, that's a lot of attacks. Two dead bikers, just the knob remaining. I'm starting to feel a little bit of relief here. Uh, going into turn two, I'm hoping that with some better secondaries, I'll be able to rack up some points. We have ourselves an end of turn one draw. Mr. Initiative has the advantage in command points, two to zero. However, we sit at 10 to 10 as we head into turn two. James Jones the Younger scores 10 primary victory points and four for claiming objectives to take him to 24. He's drawn overwhelming firepower. He needs to kill three in shooting. He's pulled defend stronghold. He needs to hold his own objective through a whole turn and raise banners, do an action on an objective in no man's land. Okay, cool, wonderful. So I can do all of these. Because Gaz is angry, he's going to roar across the battlefield. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's solid. Wonder movement phase. Boys hop out of the battle wagon. It's a bit of a sticky movement here, but the boys are gentlemen about it, and they play by intent. Always the best way to play. The Storm Boys and Def Cop just coming in. He left his flank exposed. There's three Beast Naga Boys that I'm going to mulch. There's, what, a, a truck with 10 tank busters. I can charge that super easily out of the back line. That's gonna be a piece of cake for the Def Copters. Gretchen raised banners on that close to home looking no man's land objective. Psychic phase. Psychic phase and the Biting Jaws does one mortal wound to the war boss. He's not trying to smite here, he's going for score. Interesting choice, because he needs to kill in the shooting phase. Shooting phase, rootin' tootin', Root tootin cowboy shooting. shooting. So I successfully manifested yep. a psychic power, so they're gonna go to D3 auto hits on the knob. Yep. Freeze. Five of pinball? Yeah, I suppose. Oh, I will reroll it. CP? No, he doesn't do it. So that is one to the tally. Okay, so the jet into the squig hard boys. Okay. On fives. Okay. <laughs> Holy five ups, Batman! Only one dead! Storm boys have guns that they like to shoot. Seven fives. Now that's orc shooting. That's orc shooting. So gas call into gas call. Yep. On fives. Whoa! That's a lot of fives. It's nice. Or six. Say so take one. Take one. The def copters into that. One. Oh no. Take it. Okay, it takes so three. Take three damage. Okay, custom Mega set. Blaster. D3. Yeah. And ones. Okay, that's bad. I just didn't hit with anything and I needed to. You could shoot all these pistols. Oh, okay. I made one. Four dead dudes. Extended the charge by two inches. Charge phase. So the Pain Boy into the Beast Naga Boys. All right, come on in. Pain Boy. That's Makes it. Makes it handy. Follow me, lads. The boys. Love it. A four. Now you have here we go. Yeah. Yeah, that's a seven. That's pretty good. Okay, good. The power claw is in. No battle toads. No battle toads. No whams. Okay, so I'm going to charge Def Coptas into the truck and the boys. It's an eight. Five, here we go. Six, that's not it. Here we go. There you go. I'm really proud of James. He's made all his charges in true orky fashion. It is looking really rough. And then my war boss heroically intervenes here. That's okay, he's just gonna die. War boss is gonna die. I do have two CP in the pocket and I have warned him that I'm going to interrupt. Pick well. 
Okay, so uh, let's do Gaz first, because we have to do Gaz. Actually, let's do Makari first. He has decided to fight first with Makari, hoping to spike some mortal wounds and take my Makari out, taking the objective from me, and taking my six plus feel no pain away. I think it might have been an oversight. His Def Coptas are gonna pay the price for this. My war boss has intervened into them. Thing for six. No damage, and as expected, Mr. Initiative's war boss is interrupting into the Def Coptas. My brain glazed over the fact that the war boss intervened and was super killy. He is going to lay a snipping on these Def Coptas, because that's what he does. Anything he touches gets the snip. Yeah. Yeah. Fives. No, he's dead. One's dead. So three Def Coptas down. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Yeah, so maybe I maybe I underestimated his war boss a little bit. Ouch. But I think the Def Copters can kill the boys, even though the war boss has crumped them good. Wow, One, two, only six? Sorry. Oh, maybe not. All those hits, only a couple dead. Yikes. So that sucks. Uh, Gasco into Gasco. I didn't make, make them all, so I take four damage. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so he's down two six. Yep. And then the boys into the beast boy boys. Let's do a pile in. Yeah, okay, so they can all fight. Yep, so 76 attacks. Okay. So you're doing what, 20 at a time? Yeah. 60. What happened? 50. 50 total? 50 flat. Work. They're dead. Wonderful. Well, I killed some boys. Looks nice. Some boys, here we go. Cool. Power cloth for. Okay, so on threes. Three. Five ups. Make two. Down to six. Wonderful. Storm boys do 16 wounds into three Beast Naga boys, and down they go too. Storm boys have flipped that objective. All right, all right so just all my slapbacks now. The truck into these Storm boys. Yeah. Freeze. No. One dead Storm boy, do you care which one? Okay. Take a wound off the knob. Ooh, okay. James Jones the Younger's taking a wound on the knob rather than lose a model. He's gonna take more wounds next turn and any other damage he takes. That's an interesting choice. Anyway, <laughs> let's do here. Power claw knob. Ooh, the death copters got rocked. They showed up and did nothing, and only one wound left in the unit. How many attacks does Gaz gain? Uh, uh, he gets he gets one. One extra? Yeah, one extra. Oh, that's... <laughs> yeah, oh. okay, it takes four wounds. <laughs> Eight wounds to six in favor of James the Younger. Death Cop needs to make morale. Yes, he does. One or two. Go, go, go. Nope, he's gone. Come bye bye. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I lost two leadership seven out of five. I roll a six. Yeah, you're gone. I do. Oh my goodness. This is insane. I lost one orc boy to morale. And at turn two, James the Younger sits at 29 points to 10 points for Mr. Initiative. He's got 10 primary, four claiming objective, and 15 secondary points as he managed raise banners this turn. So I'm definitely on the back foot now. James is playing very well. His secondary draws have been working for him well. He's running his score up really high, and I have a long way to claw my way back into this game. Mr. Initiative James Jones has pulled Defense Stronghold, Battlefield Supremacy, and Storm Hostile Objective. Let's do this, movement phase. Not a lot in it here. James the Younger has really hammed Mr. Initiative in. So what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna start my shooting phase because psychic phase I don't have. So sense. I will start with these uh, Gwig Hog boys. Yeah. And I'm gonna let this bomb squig off into Gazgull. Mm -hmm. And then they're gonna shoot all their guns into these storm boys. For three. Mr. Initiative's really focused on killing those storm boys. They're worth 10 secondary, but doing some mortals on Gaz with a bomb squig is genius. We are even, even ground now. So, and then they'll shoot their weapons. So, two stickers. Yep. Got it. Got it. Cool. Okay, they're done. I will shoot these tank busters into these um, storm boys. Storm boys. Yeah. Five D three to start. I'm a I hit zero. Boy. The tank busters yes. are going to target the kill rig. Take six damage. Well, he's got one left. The Burner Boys inside will flame the Daka Jet. Okay. Yep. There you go. Two wounds. 
Mm. So he's down to five. Um, I still have the uh, custom Mega Blaster to shoot him. Okay. Let Take it go. It, it is One, D6 damage. Yeah, I need to. It's fine. Do you explode? Check. No. The DACA jet goes down. Oh, no. That is a lot of James the Younger's firepower. Uh, now we'll do the rockets from the uh, the, the Mega Knobs into the kill rig. Uh, okay. Actually, split fire to victory. Two into each vehicle. So two into the kill rig, two into the battle wagon. Oh, no. Don't split fire. That wagon is useless and the kill rig is still really dangerous. He needs to kill it. Oh, did he ever get lucky? Kill rig down. And then 2D train the battle wagon. Okay. Doesn't wound. Okay. Uh, spend one CP. It wounds. Okay. Battle wagon on a four out. You good. So I guess Gazgul shoots Makari. Okay. Makari fails the save and no reroll because he knows he's getting charged and he needs that command interrupt. So he's three left and he has no more involved. So I got some charges to do. I will charge Gazgul with this uh, this Nob. guy here. Yeah. Knob on smash a squig goes into Gaza for two mortals. Wagon goes into Makari. Tank busters and squig hog boys go into the storm boys. The mega knobs charge the boys and the pain boy. War boss goes into the boys. He doesn't need to, but he's gone all green with charges. I'm gonna fight with these. Uh, I'm gonna fight with these knobs first. I think. Okay. Nope. No. Yeah, I have to. They're gonna screw those guys up if I don't. Mega knobs first. I think it's the right call here because Gaz can't die, but James the Younger can. And even if Gaz interrupts, he's not gonna kill back. Yeah. So what I'll do is I'm gonna put one guy. Mm -hmm into the pain boy. Okay. The rest of them are going into the the, the, the boys. Okay. Pain boy to start, hitting him on peace. Sorry. That's all good. If two of these go through, he's dead. Two of these go through. Okay, so now he has four feeling the pain. pains. He's got four. four. I need, if he makes even one of these, he survives. Yeah. Pain boy goes down, oh no, and a bunch of boys go down too. Yeah, so I'm going to uh, interrupt with these Storm Boys. James Younger spending two command points on counteroffensive. He has none left, but this could stop Mr. Initiative from scoring his secondaries, or at least make it harder. Three. And yeah, so they I'm are dead. The Squig Hog Boys can't hold up to seven Storm Boys. I, I'm in shock. <laughs> oh, the Storm Boys have murdered the Squig Hog Boys, and only one tank buster left. My battle wagon's attacking his Makari. Yeah. Six ups? Nope, he's dead. He's dead. Goodbye. Goodbye, Makari. Uh, war boss into the boys. Yep. Deuces. So three guys are dead? Nope, it's gone. And then I'll consolidate. Okay. Rough. Oh, I get, uh, sorry, the boss, the uh, the knob guy. Yeah. Uh oh. Okay, Take two down. damage. Okay, uh, and then you get to clap back. So I'm going to put three on the Smasher Squig and six on Makari. Going into Makari and the Smasher Squig here, I don't know, putting four more wounds on the Gaza wouldn't be a bad thing. I don't save it. Okay. So he takes four damage. Yep, four damage. I shrug one. Okay. He takes three damage, putting him down to two, I believe. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, other Makari is dead. What a mega mess. Mr. Initiative and his Gaza to smack in James the Younger's Gaza. No sitting down. Nine. Nine four ups. Oh, that was really good. Okay. Wowie wow, young Gaza has gone down. I feel like I'm still in a rough spot with my secondaries. I'm doing okay with the primary and James is doing better. There's a definite possibility that I could table him in the next turn or two. Hopefully I can draw some better secondaries and get the score ran back up. And at turn two, and we've got a score of 34 to 22 in favor of James the Younger, but I've got to give a bit of an advantage to Mr. Initiative as Gaskul Thraka is still up. Start a turn three for James the Younger and he goes up to 48 total points. He's got 20 primary victory, eight claiming objective points, and 20 secondary points. It's a 26 point lead, but no real help on his secondaries this turn. He ditches no prisoners for assassination, costs him a command point, but totally worth it to keep the pressure on.
Good lord, this is this is horrifying. Need to kill the big <laughs> punching up for once. It might. Okay, that's unfortunate. That's Not gonna happen. Nice. Storm boys are going to try to eradicate that last tank buster. So seven of them? Storm boys shoot into the tank buster with sluggers and don't even wound. Seven is the war boss. Five. Nope. He takes two. Goes down to two. That's one power call. Only charge this phase is the battle wagon. Battle wagon smashes the war boss, and Mr. Initiative spends a command point on the stratagem command reroll out of command points, and he still fails the saves. These guys have uh, three attacks. No, it's because these guys have three attacks. Oh, yeah, it makes sense. Because the war they boss won't. is gone. Hey, I made one. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, well, there's. Four guys have Storm boys clean up that tank buster pretty easily. For the. Let's do the boss comp first. The other dudes are going to have. Uh, Oh, actually, Four no. attacks each. Yeah, no, let's do the, um, let's do the, 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 the regular boys first. Before. <laughs> hey, I killed the Megan Kill Megan up. Those boys have clapped back hard. Boy, howdy. Hell, that might be a morale problem. And a turn three for James the Younger, and we've got a score of 53 to 22 in his favor. He's managed to score assassination this turn and has discarded overwhelming firepower as well as bring it down. Turn three for Mr. Initiative sees him go up to 34 points, 20 primary, four objective, and 10 secondary points. He's pulled Bring It Down, that's the yellow battle wagon, Blood and Guts, kill three units in melee, and storm hostile objective. Shooting phase. Shooting phase now, Gaza sprays those Gretchen. If this is really big. If the Grots live, they will continue to score James points. Ah, oh, they only lose one. Orc boys are gonna shoot that battle wagon. Nope. Rockets are going to shoot into this battle wagon. And uh, they'll let off the bomb squig into these guys, because it's my last bomb squig. Rockets. You wound. Get too late. Get. Now it's Get. over. Bomb oh, squig into the boys. Okay. D3 mortals. mortals for three. This knob is teetering on the edge. It is one wound. One wound. So charge time. Oh boy. Battle wagon into them. Yep. Seven, it's in. Rough. He needs a massive 10 inch charge, but he's in. The knob on the smasher squig does some serious wounds on the charge. Uh, D D6 attacks from the battle wagon. So one guy dies. One dies. It doesn't matter which one, right? Yeah. Then knob on a smash the squig. That was really bad turn three for me because he killed a lot of stuff. And I'm, I'm kind of running out of bodies here. There's a dead boy mid-table too. Morale phase, some of the Gretchen run, but James the Younger still holds the objective. And at turn three, we see a score of 53 for James the Younger to 44 for Mr. Initiative. There's there's not a lot of, of, of things I can do except keep playing on the defensive side. I need to hold him up and I need to prevent him from scoring while drawing some good secondaries. Blood and Guts, Storm Hostile, and no retreat, no surrender. You can score that one. I can one. score this one. Yeah, I'm going to... Don't fail morale this round, basically. Spending a CP to dump that one. See if I can find one I can score. Uh, grind him down. Well, it was worth a try. I can't score this one either. His movement phase consists of hide, hide, hide. He's going to get here, right? So yeah. if I can scooch them this way. Very quick turn for James Jones the Younger. He sits at 67 total points, 30 primary, 12 objective points, 25 secondary, still has grind them down, storm hostile objective, and no retreat, no surrender. Of all things, the Gretchen could win James the Younger this game. So we're in turn four now, and the score is still feels out of reach for me. James has done a great job of working with what he has. He has very few units left, but they're very far back. James, Mr. Initiative Jones pulls extend battle lines and grind them down.
This guy is going to advance. Okay. Everything advanced except Gaza and that truck. All right. Psychic phase done. Shooting phase. Damn. If Which you part the model. if you look underneath the squig, right? Yeah, that's... you can see the bumper of the truck. Okay. Because I can look. I'm looking under the front end, and I can see the garage. One part, every part. Oh yeah. Yeah, you definitely. Okay. All right. Okay, so we'll start by shooting those guys with this truck. Okay. Oops. Hits one. One. Doesn't wound. Doesn't wound. Okay. I will. Uh, Shoot with gas. So I just got it's Still six. six up. So yeah. nope. Oh. Down go the Grotz, but he still claims the objective, so we'll keep scoring those two points. I'm gonna shoot him with the uh, truck now. Rockets. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, okay, man, one of those. Yeah, it's, it's this guy. Not bad. Yeah. If you can't charge me, now you need to take a leadership test. Oh. I lost two, right? Do it. Oh, he does shit. it! Oh, God. Morale phase, Gretchen live! That's five secondary points for no retreat, no surrender. That's huge! And around four, we have a score of 72 to 61 in favor of James Jones the Younger, despite having lost almost everything. On to turn five, can he hold on? So I have maxed my primaries. I don't need to be in the objectives anymore. But there's one Mega Knob bearing down on me, one lone Mega Knob, and he has one point with Grind Them Down. I need to shoot him, deal one wound, and then charge him and delete him in the charge. James again trying to score, spending a command point on new orders to replace a secondary objective with a new one from the deck, and he's not getting a lot of help. All right, one, two, three, four, five. He's going for it, dude. Okay, so we're going Kudos, to- Kudos, I love it. If he kills that Mega Knob, he could potentially win the game. Just for killing the Mega Knob, that would do it. What a crazy game. Blasting that Mega Knob and then charging into him, I mean, I love it. And if it works, you're gonna cost me another five points and almost assuredly win this game. Three, four, five. Yeah. It's fine. Okay, and I suppose I will charge. I will overwatch. Of course you will, okay. <laughs> Off of the shooter. Nothing. Mm -hmm. D3 rockets. Nope. Go ahead, come on in. That's it. That is the bravest group of grots I've ever seen. Woo hoo hoo! Wah! Go get him, Gretchen! I'm fine. Can I. Want to see if you roll? Uh, yeah, I'm going to see if you roll. Yeah, do it. Do it. No. Eight. He takes it. No. They, did a, they did a wound. What an absolute slaughter. With a final score of 97 to 85, your winner and current ruling orc champion is James, Mr. Initiative Jones. James, you did a great job. You played awesome, man. I have not been this concerned about losing a game in a long time. It was super fun. Let's do it again. This may be the single highest combined score we've ever had in a game here at the Play On Studios, and it was an absolute pleasure having both of these gentle orcs, er, gentlemen, in studio. Thanks, boys, for a wonderful game. This episode is brought to you by the folks at Audible. In addition to having nearly the complete collection of Black Library audiobooks, Audible has thousands of other titles, including Audible Originals and podcasts. Many of us here at Play On find listening to audiobooks while we paint terrain in miniatures to be a great way to catch up on Warhammer lore. Or, before you binge watch the Rings of Power series on Prime, Check out other Lord of the Rings content on Audible. New members can try Audible free for 30 days. Visit audible.com slash LOTR or text LOTR to 500-500. Audible has provided us a free 30-day trial where you get full access to thousands of audiobooks, original entertainment, and podcasts. To start your free trial, visit audible.com slash LOTR or text LOTR to 500-500. Dive into some Lord of the Rings like me or whatever tickles your fancy. Audible definitely has what you're looking for. Once again, visit audible.com slash LOTR or text LOTR to 500-500 to start your free trial today. It felt actually awesome to be put on the ropes by a comparatively less experienced player than me. I mean, I've been playing this army longer than James has been alive. That's it for us, folks. On behalf of all of us here at Play On, this is JT McDowell saying, until the next time you see us in the far-flung future of a grim, dark universe, Play on. No shame.
in this game at all. I think he played fantastically. That was, that was really well played by him, and I would love to play him again. More to come, man. I'll come back. I'll play anytime you guys want. I made a mistake. I, I did the best I could. I'm happy with it. Oh, right, James. Remember how we bet at the end of the game that loser had to shave their head? 